Yo, yo, yo. Oh, let's get this dude too. Yes, got two. Woo. Oh, you see that? That was a triple kill, I think. We've got four iPhones. We've got the iPhone 7, the iPhone 10, the iPhone 10s Max, and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So we've got the A10 chip, the A11, the A12, and the A13. And we're gonna play Call of Duty Mobile on each of these phones to see how the graphics quality and settings are on each phone and how the performance is playing Call of Duty Mobile. So let's get right into the gameplay. So we're gonna start off with the iPhone 7 that's packing the A10 Fusion chip. As you guys can see, it defaults to medium graphics quality and medium frame rate. We're actually gonna try to go to high and very high. This screen is so tiny. This is like such a small screen to compared to what I'm used to. Oh, got him. I don't know if you guys could even see anything, but hey, I'm, I'm able to kill these dudes. Oh, you got me. So far, it's feeling really smooth. I'm actually surprised. I'm actually shocked that it's able to play on an iPhone 7 with the A10 chip. Literally, with this size display, it's so hard to see anybody. Can I knife him? Okay, I'll just knife him. <laughs> Definitely not maxed out, but you can play it. I mean, man, this is so hard to see. Oh my goodness. Got him. Got him. Oh, come on, man. Got him. Woo! I'm really surprised by how optimized the game is though for older processors because this feels actually playable if you have an old phone like this. Yo, get out of here, bro. You got him. Check out this kill cam. Yeah, that's me right there. Woo! On this old tiny display phone. Now switching over to the iPhone 10 from 2017 with the A11 chip. First of all, I'm noticing the difference in speaker quality. Much louder earpiece speaker right here, and of course you see the uh, the full screen edge to edge, except for that notch right there, so this definitely looks a lot better. So interestingly, it actually defaults to high and high, except this time I get the option for very high frame rate and even max frame rate, so let's go very high on the graphics. Actually, if we go on very high on the graphics, the max goes away, so I'm going to go back a little bit just to get the max frame rate because I think that's probably the most important thing. Definitely a lot easier to play and see everything on this phone. Sup nerds? Woo! All right, let's go. Huge jump up from the seven to the 10. Everything looks so much better. Yo, let me shoot. Ooh, what up, bro? Woo! Got him. That was weird. <laughs> oh, he had a minigun. A light of fire to these dudes. Oh, I knifed him. Oh, looks like we won. Not bad. I'm really surprised how optimized this game is because even with this A11 chip, everything's working so well. Even though we're not at very high graphics quality, it still looks really good and the frame rate's absolutely perfect. Like. No drop frames at all. The frame rate, I think, is at 60. Woo. Oh, I got two. Oh, I thought I got three guys. So close. Ooh, you see that slide? Got him. Oh, come on, bro. All right, let's do this. Woo -hoo -hoo. Got him. Oh, almost got him. Did you guys see that? Ah, oh, second place. Come on. That was pretty good. Overall, I'm really impressed with the performance on the iPhone 10. Feels perfectly smooth with the frame rate, no drop frames or anything. Really well optimized game. Now switching to the iPhone XS Max with the A12 Bionic chip from 2018. As you guys can see, there's a massive difference with the display, it's just so immersive. And another difference I'm noticing is the speakers. They're just so much louder 
Even though the volume is set to around 50%, so I'm going to turn it down slightly, it looks like it's set to very high graphics quality and high frame rate, so we're actually going to hit max. And interestingly here, we're actually able to do max frame rate while at very high graphics quality, which we were not able to do on the iPhone 10. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. This is what you want to play mobile games on. This is absolutely incredible. Super smooth, 60 FPS, really easy to play, really easy to see everything. You trying to snipe me, bro? Thought I saw a guy here. Woo! Oh, watch this, watch this. Woo! Got him. This is much easier to play. It's so much easier to see people here. That's the biggest difference. Everything feels really smooth, but you can see everyone so easily here. Ooh, stealth chopper, what's up? Yep, there he is, got him. Oh, oh, that was not a triple kill, that was so close, guys. Gotcha, bro. Gameplay is super smooth, absolutely perfect. This game is really optimized, no issues at all performance-wise. The phones are not getting hot at all, no screen dimming, nothing like that. There you go first place. To be completely honest, so far this is the best FPS game out there on mobile. Ooh, these guys are good. Ooh. Come on, friendo. Got him. Oh, he got me. No way. So much action. Oh, no, no. Ah, oh, he got me. Gameplay is absolutely perfect on the Tennis Max. Now finally guys, here we are on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, as you guys can see right there. Here it is, the same display, not much has changed. The front, you can't even tell it apart from the Tennis Max. Call of Duty has not been updated, so you actually can't do max frame rate on the iPhone 11 Pro right now until they update it, so that kind of sucks. I think this very high might be 60 FPS. We'll double check just to make sure. All right, so far, gameplay feels really smooth. I'm I'm sure this is 60 FPS because this feels really smooth. So the differences between the 10s and this is that the display is brighter, so I actually had to turn it down a bit to match. Got him. So far, everything's looking great on this phone. Oh, yo, 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 oh, let's get this dude too. Yes, got two. Double kill right there. Woo. Oh, you see that? That was a triple kill, I think. Woo -hoo -hoo. Don't turn around. Oh, no. Yes, this is insane, guys. I'm just running through these guys. Oh, was that the last kill? Look at that, we destroyed these guys. Anyways, gameplay feels perfect on this phone. You cannot get better. There you go, first place, guys, on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Oh, this guy's good. Is this guy sniping? Wait, is this guy hacking? Are you hacking, bro? I just killed the hacker. <laughs> dude, look at this dude. He's hacking. He's hacking. <laughs> Come on, bro. You can't hack me. Yo, get him. Okay, I'm going to watch this. I'm going to watch this, guys. Is he hacking? Let's see. I don't know. He's actually... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, you guys see that? <laughs> All right, so we just finished playing on those four iPhones, and to my surprise, the iPhone 7 was actually able to play it pretty decently well. It was not at the best graphics or at the best frame rate, but it honestly seemed pretty fine to me. I didn't really notice any drop frames or anything, but the worst part was the speaker quality is low, and also the display is just tiny. The iPhone 10 was a little bit of a step up, but if you're gonna be playing Call of Duty Mobile, you definitely want the 10s max or the 11 pro max you want the plus size device because you're getting a much more immersive display you're getting much better battery life especially on the iphone 11 pro max because the battery life is insane on that phone if you haven't already seen our gaming comparison video between the iphone 11 pro max and the note 10 plus you guys should definitely do that because in that video we show the insane battery life of the iphone 11 pro max compared to the note 10 plus and especially the 10s max from last year, you get so much better battery life. So 
Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you guys did, you could click that circle above to subscribe and check out the gaming comparison video right over there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Yo, get him. Are you hacking, bro? Come on, bro, you can't hack me. Get out of here, bro. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo!